I think she won't be able to do it. Oh, she did it. She's enjoying her powers. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lee and the coolest South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the third episode of Shadow and Bone. I'm really enjoying the show thus far. Like everybody's mad separated right now. I think there's like three main story like storylines. Uh, the story A with Elena and her destiny. There's Mel trying to get to Elena. Then there's uh, Kaz and the other people who are across the pond on that black thing. <laughs> trying to get to Elena too and bring her back. So there's three main storylines that we're following. Let me think which storyline am I more invested in. Probably Elena's. Of course the main antagonist. But Mel's one is coming in probably third actually we haven't really spent that much time with mel it's for him to be coming in second so what's his name kaz is the second second favorite storyline right now so let's not waste any more time dive right in and see what they have in store for us in the third episode and the whole different title card thing is still what is happening right now? Yo. She having visions now? She's getting treated like a princess now. But the upside is... She just came from war. This is gonna take more work than I expected. Host of God damn, a whole squad washing her. <laughs> respect. I'm sure this like showed your wealth, your wealth and importance, but having people bathe you is super weird. She didn't even wash her face, we the fuck? Maybe she does need people washing her. <laughs> Man, you can't racism still? Damn, did she just heal her? That's why they like change her eyes. Yo, that power is so useful. So did they not wash her face so they can do that fixy fixy magic thingy? <laughs> Damn. You've been a Grisha your whole life. Is that Nina? Nina? What's her power? Oh, she's one of those hard people. Oh, these guys again. Damn, she gonna get killed? Damn, she got skill though. There's always that one guy who doesn't do shit, but is the leader. <laughs> the conductor's insider has been taken. Ooh, there goes the ninja. <laughs> Of course he took a detour. Man, he has a gambling problem. Who's playing the king in the show? General's back. It's science. How is it science? I want to see the king. Yo, she's shooing off. God damn. Damn. The dark elves would be so proud of him. <laughs> I'm talking about Thor Dark World. I think she won't be able to do it. Oh, she did it. She's enjoying her powers. So he's trying to okay. conquer everybody. She has power. You're just hugging strangers now. Is that Zoya? Goddamn. Yo, it's a civil war. It's that dude from the first episode. He's friends with the conductor. Hope will get you killed in these streets. Man, it's religious people. Goddamn, they always problems in this. So zero mail this episode. Dude, build the transport? Like a train? Yo, man, he cost them. Damn, these guys are blowing up. Mel is back for a flashback, though. I don't think he's gonna get much character development in the show. Right. Just at all. Man, who knew Zoya was gonna be an asshole racist? Fight. She can't fight for shit. Damn, I don't think she was supposed to do that. Is this a, like a spirit animal or something? 
She's just jealous because of the general. Goddamn. She still got grass on her hair. Who the hell's creeping behind her? Why is this dude so creepy? Goddamn. Mythical. The brown guy. <laughs> this is the animal she sees. This dude is so creepy though. Is she going to the general or somebody else? Who's this? What's the rest of her? No, she can't. What about now? <laughs> Hit her with a stick. Everyone believes that you. She gotta believe in herself to start her training. Apparently. How is this not drawing the monsters? This looks more like science than the magic. In case they poison her food. Why are you mad at her? Is that why they got a coat? Oh, he knew he would be a liability. Who is this? What is he gonna do? Goddamn. He's killing them. Look at him go. Goddamn. Headshot. A failure. She's feeling imposter syndrome. It's basically writing him a love story. Or a love letter. I don't know why I said love story. Is that how she accesses her power? Love? That was episode 3. A very lengthy episode. With a lot of slow moments. Basically her enjoying her newfound fame. But also having doubters. Damn, man. I was rooting for Zoya to be an interesting character. But she basic. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She basic. Everybody else is mad interesting. A lot of more in-depth story. Like, they basically explored more about what her destiny is and how she has to access her power and what the general did when he, hold, when he was holding a wrist. He's an amplifier. Like, she's cocky in some moments. In some moments, she's very... Doubtful of herself, mostly in the narration. And when she gets confronted, she really thought she knew how to fight because the dude showed him how to do a good punch. She'd been training since she was 10. That was some blind optimism from her. Maybe there's hope for her after all. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you guys think. Like, if you like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. About to dive right into episode 4.